Hello everyone, this is Anna the Pinterest Pro with you again today. And as you know, we have with us Jessica Brace of the Facebook Live Academy. And Jessica is the person that sit, got me on the right track of using Facebook Live and taught me a lot of tricks of the trade. There's still a lot of things I need to learn, but she uh, really does a good job with that. And uh, before we get started here, Jessica, I'd like for you to kind of tell everybody about your background. Oh my gosh, this background. Well, um, I have been in the online world for 18 years, believe it or not. I started out hand coding websites um, in text editor <laughs> way back in 1999 and built up a pretty successful graphic design agency all from home, all while traveling the world. Um, and that's what I've been doing for 18 years. And then about four years ago, um, five years actually now, we were looking at different ways that we could incorporate things into our business and video came up and I was like, well, what can we do with video? So I went out to San Diego and I took a class on video and I fell in love with it. So video in the last five years has transformed from mm -hmm. used to have this big studio and lights and cameras and equipment and microphones. And it cost you so much money to get started to where we are today, where you already have everything you need to create professional video. And I am so excited for what's happening with video these days because Facebook Live, what we're on right now, um, is a complete and total game changer for anyone in business. It really is. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are uh, not comfortable in front of the camera. And I love the suggestion, and I have used this tip with other people, told them that you told us about this, of forming a Facebook group that's private and yes. just practicing there. And that's, I, I use that myself uh, in figuring out Zoom, you know, and, and so forth. So that's an, uh, a real good tip. And then just invite a few people. And uh, so, which of course uh, brings me to the next thing. If you could share a few tips to people about when they're thinking about doing Facebook Live, how to get started, what are some things they should make sure they do? Yep, so it's really simple. So the biggest objections, and I have three of the biggest objections that people tell me about why they're not getting started with video, besides procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that one. one is the equipment. And people will tell me all the time, like, well, it's just too expensive, or I don't have the right camera, or I don't have the studio, or I don't know how to use the equipment. That's not true anymore, because right now, I'm filming with my cell phone. Mm -hmm. My cell phone is literally just sitting on a tripod on a table right in front of me, and that's it. Yeah, I have a backdrop, I have some lights, but you don't need all of the fancy right. stuff to get started. Really, all that you need to do Facebook Live is you need your cell phone, and you need to have the Facebook app. If you don't have the Facebook app installed, you can install it for free. And that is what will allow you to do Facebook Live from your cell phone. So really simple and free to get started. So equipment, no excuses anymore about equipment. That's the one thing that people tell me all mm -hmm. the time was the hardest. And I know, Anna, um, when we worked together, we kind of went through like, well, what's going to work best for me? You know, I'm mm -hmm. in an office. Like, I believe you're using a webcam. Yes, I am. And yeah. just because I had it, I'd still do uh, on Tuesdays. Usually I do it from my iPhone because the yeah. cameras on those are wonderful. You yes. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited when they announce the eight to see what the camera is going to be like, because I have the seven plus and it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, with that. And I had the five, the five S, the six, the six, I've gone all the way through with iPhones. Um, and just really impressed. But if any phone that has a camera will allow mm -hmm. you to do Facebook Live. So you don't need to put it in your head that you have to run out and buy the latest and greatest iPhone to do video. Any phone with a camera. And if you're still using one of those flip phones that you got to flip out to dial, I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe video is not for you. But other than that, <laughs> you probably have a camera in your cell phone or Facebook Live a couple of months ago introduced that you can do Facebook Live from your computer. So you, if you have a webcam, which is built into your laptop or your desktop, Mac or PC works, um, and you use the Chrome browser, you can also do a Facebook Live from your computer, which is exciting because you can also do screen share, which is a, a yeah. huge help. That's yeah. what kind of, because I do my 
like you told us, pick out what days you're going to do it. You don't have to do it every day. And I try to do Tuesday. Well, I do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So on Thursday, I usually do a screen share. Yes. And so when I do that, you know, I'm definitely using my webcam uh, for that. And it's just awesome that I can show people what I'm talking about rather than just telling them about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so that's just, uh, I think, fantastic. Now, with Facebook Live, what would you say to people who ask you, well, how do I measure my results as far as Facebook Live is concerned? So we always measure results with the end goal, which is sales mm-hmm. or leads, um, depending on what your business goals are. But really, if you understand how Facebook works, so one question that we go back up pre that is why on earth would I want to do a Facebook Live video as opposed to other types of Facebook marketing that you can do? Mm-hmm. One is Facebook Live is free. And two, Facebook Live video will get you more views and more action in the online world than it will with a picture or anything like that. So you see all the time, you know, posts going in, oh, the algorithm is down, my views are down, only 1% of your friends actually see your posts and all the horror nightmare stories. And it's true, Facebook has changed how much people see. So the difference is, is with video, Facebook Live is really, really promoting video right now and they want you to use the video. So as a reward, when you do Facebook Live videos, more people will see your content than other types of Facebook posts. So that's exciting in itself. But if we understand how that works, it's really simple. So if we think of it like a scoring system on a scale of one to 10, when you go live, people can click the little hand or the heart or the thumbs up or the sad, mad face. And people can do that on your lives during the live or on the replay. So on a scale of one to 10, it's engagement. And so if Facebook is looking at it, they're scoring your video. So the more engagement that you have, the more that people take action on your video, the more that Facebook is gonna show it to other people. So the fact that you have someone watching your video is engagement, so that kind of counts how many viewers you have. Then on a scale of one to 10, if we have people who are hearting and liking and all of that, that's maybe like a two points out of 10 because you can hit the heart a whole bunch of times, a thousand times if you felt like it, um, and do that. So it's some engagement because people are interacting with your video, but what can you do to do more? So the next level would be comments. So comments would be on a scale of one to 10, like a five, because people are taking the time out to actually type something in on the comments. So that's why you'll still, people will start out their Facebook lives or like, all right, everybody tell me where you're from today. You know, how's the farthest going or how are you doing today? Have you ever, my question that I usually ask is, have you ever done a Facebook live or what level video marketer do you think you are? Are you a newbie, an expert or an absolute pro? So those kind of questions, people will type it into the comments And it's considered engagement. So the more engagement you have with that, the more that Facebook is going to show your video to other people. Really simple, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next piece is the holy grail, which is the shares. And that on a scale of one to 10 is like a 10 because they're thinking like, hey, if this person is willing to share your video with their friends and their audiences, then they must really think that the content is good and valuable. So Facebook will look at that and say, well, look at the shares that are going on here. Aha, must be good. Let's show it to more people. So shares are like the holy grail of it. So remember when you're doing your Facebook lives, ask to share like this awesome video today. All those people out there, if you found any of this information helpful, inspiring, or it's just something good that you wanna share, then please click on that share button and help Anna out so that she gets more people to see her message. So just yeah. drop that in. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? That is what you just said. That's exactly what I say at the end of each one of mine. Yep. <laughs> uh, and all. And uh, some of the people that I talk to, you know, they just do the hearts and all. I'm like, no, you got to comment. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> and all. Uh, one of the things that, you know, I've been reading about that Facebook is cracking down on, which I'm glad they are, is people taking an image and, make, and making it into a video 
to try to score more. So that has to do with what you were just talking about, correct? Um, yeah, exactly. So they're looking for more engagement on the video. And part of that kind of plays into like a Facebook ad strategy. Yeah. You can pay to, so if there's already traction on it and then you run an ad to it, you'll do, you'll get better results from it because the ad is like seasoned per mm -hmm. se. You know, mm -hmm. plus the other thing too, it's, it's almost a page like strategy because I don't know if you know, Anna, but if anyone comments on your video or anything at the end of your Facebook live, you can go in and see a list of everyone who commented it and it will show you if they like your page or not. And you can just click oh. a button and add all the, and re send invites to all of them to like your page. That is if you are broadcasting from a business or fan page on Facebook, which I highly recommend that's where you broadcast from. Yes. And because it has, features yep just like that. it really does i get so irritated because every once in a while i'll for, and probably more so when i'm using my phone i'll forget and stay on my personal page and broadcast and i can't do a lot yeah. of the things that i could do to the video if it were on the business page exactly that video library is is very important for business marketing and being able to get in there after you're live and make some more marketing tweaks yeah, well, that's a great tip because I didn't know that, I, that you could do that. And that would be good to know because, like you said, then you can send them an invite to like yeah. your page and so forth. So Because um, it's really your, your business page, your fan page, when, when you're coming from there for your Facebook Live. A lot of people will come to me and say, well, where's the best place for me to go live? And I'll be like, well, your business or fan page. And they'll tell me, I don't have any traffic there. And I'm yes. like, I understand, but there's things that you can do to boost that up. And, you know, your personal page is limited to 5,000 and it's your friends and your family. And, you know, it's, it, it has a, a finite end to it. So the short thinking is I'm going to go live from my personal page now because that's where I'm getting the traction, but there's no expansion for growth. If you continue to do that, right. you're limited. Well, and plus on your fan page, you can do things like uh, put keywords, Yes. Uh, you can also do the captions on the video. Yes, very important, especially when you want to boost and run ads to your Facebook. Exactly. Live on. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Custom thumbnails, too, is very important. Yes, that's the, oh, I love that because so many times my thumbnail ends up with me. You know. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of the, the key things about it. Um, and this is an advanced Facebook strategy, but I'll share it with you because it's one of my favorite things to do is that, so you have your Facebook live and you made an offer say, Hey, opt in and get my free Facebook live cheat sheet or come to my free training that I'm doing next week or whatever it is that you had your offer. You can run a Facebook ad specifically to the people who watched your video. So now the people that watch this video, and you can even say a certain point. So if they watch my Facebook live for longer than five minutes, then I want to show them an ad and remind them to join mm -hmm. up for whatever your offer was. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That is oh, huge. Yeah. Very huge. Very huge. Yeah. And that's, um, I'm glad that from the start of my business and the start of using Facebook that I was advised to establish that fan page and yeah. uh, because instead of building up people on my personal page, you know, I started with the, the fan page. And so I'm not having to start all over now, so to speak. <laughs> now I have a question for you. Uh, do you ever integrate your Facebook lives with Pinterest? I have not yet. And I will tell you what I'm cooking up. I have been working on a store. So I teach video and video marketing. I've been working with YouTube for years. Um, and now with the emergence of Facebook Live, I've been working with a lot of clients on Facebook Live. But I'm launching an e-commerce store that's called Cell Phone Video Store. And it's all about accessories for your cell phone to make better videos, which mm -hmm. I love to talk about. So I actually am integrating my e-commerce store with Pinterest. And starting today... We're going live from within my e-commerce store and feeding it through Facebook Live. And That's that will great. be and that will be fed through Pinterest as well and Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a prong approach that we're doing with video um, for e-commerce that I am really excited to play with. 
that's uh i asked that question because so many people don't realize that you can put your videos on pinterest and so i i like to bring that up because uh you can and it's real easy to do if you uh, if you upload your videos to youtube uh all you do is click a button and share it on there and it makes it very easy to do if you do that so that was one of the things uh before we close out just real quick there's a couple of programs that you uh, told us about to use that has been so, has increased my productivity. I know that much, you know, for, I can't even think of the name of them right now, but I use them. Uh, you know, for example, it will automatically post your Facebook live to other places and so forth. Yes. Yes. So I have a whole list of tools and accessories um, that I love using. And what I can do, Anna, is that anybody who types, yes in the comments below on this facebook live what i'll do is i will pm them the information so i will send them no opt-in required nothing i will send you the information on how to download um my pdf on great equipment to use on what tools that i use um for facebook live and what software exactly what you were saying the software that i use so that i go live on my business page, but it also goes live on my personal page and in my group and in my e-commerce store all at the same right. time. And it's automatic. It's, I just push a button and it goes. So those are the kind yeah. of things that I love to talk about. I wanted to bring that up because I know before taking your class, I was downloading my video from Facebook. You know, oh, oh, I spent prop 30 minutes to an hour just doing that every day. Yeah. And now it automatically goes everywhere which is t just wonderful because it saves me a lot of time when you add it up over you know a, a period of time now um any classes you have coming up or anything that you'd like to mention i do so anyone that types yes in the comments below on this live video uh, next week is a really really big week for us i am actually um, I usually every year for my birthday, and I got in a little bit of trouble this year. Um, usually every year for my birthday, I do a week long training where every day I jump in and I do a training from my courses. I actually teach my courses for free live. And if you watch them live, you get my paid content for free, but only during my birthday week. And I've done this for the past couple of years. And this year I didn't do it. It was the, my birthday week was the same week my kids were going back to school. And I was oh. like, ah, I'm not going to do it this year. You know, I've got some other things that are cooking and all of that. And the backlash that I got from people were like, I told my friend and every year it was your birthday and you do this. And, and so I got all these emails and responses from it. So my birthday was two weeks ago, but next week, next week, I'm going to be going live every single day and I'm going to be bringing through a training to get you started with Facebook Live. We're gonna talk about equipment. I'm gonna show you how to use it. We're gonna talk about how to attract more of your ideal clients and figure out who they are and where they're hanging out. And we're actually gonna do the full trainings live. And as long as you attend live, you get everything for free. Okay, and what I'll do is um, I will put the URL on okay. here of where that will be broadcast so that people will know yeah, um, it's really easy. They can just go on um, my Facebook group. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash she broadcasts. And all of the courses are going to be broadcast right in the group. Okay. All right. And I'll put that up there just so people, you know, will have it, you know. Yeah, well, Jessica, so thank you so much. Anything else you. you would like to add? That's good. And if you're not doing Facebook Live, do it. <laughs> <laughs> And if, you're nervous about, <laughs> and if you're nervous about doing it, I can tell you that Jessica really does teach you a lot uh, because it really helped me. I had been doing Facebook Live, but your course helped me to make it more professional, organized, kind of understand what I needed to do and so forth. And you do give a lot of good tips on equipment and, and software that can be used. So... Thank you so much, Jessica. I appreciate you being on here today and all and everybody out there. I, again, like what Jessica said, remember, share this content because it could be very helpful to your friends and your colleagues. So that's what it's all about, sharing the information. And I will see you tomorrow night where I'm going to demonstrate 
how to pin your videos to your uh, Pinterest boards. And so until then, this is Anna signing off and traveling on down the Pinterest superhighway.